this is an implementation of the V Remote Infrared uh, Point Tracking Camera. Um, as you can see here, I've just kind of put it on a little module with the, with the clock generator. Uh, the yellow and green lines are the I2C lines. The red and black are for power. Um, what is special about this implementation is that I am running this little program directly through my VGA port. I'm able to do that because every VGA port and DVI port and HDMI port has an I2C bus exposed. Um, typically this I2C bus is used to read EDID, EDID information off of the monitor which is stored in an I2C EEPROM. Um, this is made possible in Linux and is through a suite of tools uh, that you can get. It, they are just called um, I squared I2C dash tools uh, with the S on the end. Um, running this as root, I can uh, look at what kind of devices are on the, uh, the VGA port bus. And if we run this command, then we can see that the, uh, the Wii remote is, uh, the Wii remote camera is detected on the seven, at the 7 bit address 58 or hex 58. Um, there are commands that you can use called I squared C uh, set and I squared C get, which will let you um, write a byte, write multiple bytes, or read a byte. Um, these these commands are sufficient to be able to communicate uh, with the Wii Remote Camera. So let's just take a look at that running again. Um, when a point is not detected, uh, it just spits out uh, debugging information. When a point is detected, then there's a kind of a crummy um, asking display of of what the camera sees. So about right there it is in the center of the camera which you can confirm by looking both at the screen and the angle of the camera itself. Um, the camera has about a 30 degree by 20 degree field of view that's a rough, uh, rough estimate. I, the exact amount is on, on, on is a line. The spurious, um, the spurious uh, readings. I'm not sure where those come from. Perhaps it's just because reading it through the through the operating system is a little bit slow and irregular. Um, but with uh, by applying statistics, you can, you can make that more usable for for higher applications. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, thank you for watching.